You were just a scared little boy who's afraid to be on his own because daddy never loved him enough. Everybody leaves you, Dean. You noticed? Mommy, daddy, even Sam. Boys, Sam, people get close to me, they get killed, or worse. I know how dead you are inside, how worthless you feel. I know how you look into a mirror and hate what you see. You're a coward, sad, clingy, needy. You know, I tell myself that I, I, I help more people than I hurt. And I tell myself that I, I'm doing it all for the right reasons, and I, I believe that. All I, all I can think about is how much this job has cost us. I always believed that what we do was important. No matter what the cost, no matter who we lost, whether it was Dad or, or Bobby or... You see a light at the end of this ugly-ass tunnel. I don't. And now Mom and Cass and I, I don't know. I don't know. So now you don't believe anymore. Dad brought me back, Bobby. I'm not even supposed to be here. You want to die. You don't think you deserve to be saved. It's like my life can mean something. What? And it didn't before? Have you got that low an opinion of yourself? Are you not screwed in the head? You are nothing. Your problem now is that nobody hates you more than you do. There's a god. At this point, I guess money's on. Yeah. I don't know, guys. Okay, look, I, I know you're not all choir boy about this stuff, but this is becoming less and less about faith and more and more about proof. People, people pray to you. I need some help. Please. You can build churches for you. They fight wars in your name. And you did nothing. If there is a God out there, why would he give a crap about me? I don't matter. Not you. I couldn't save Mom. I couldn't save Cass. I can't even save a scared little kid. Sam keeps trying to fix it, but I just keep dragging him down. So I'm not gonna beg. Okay, if it's my time, it's my time. And no one can save you because you don't want to be saved. I mean, how can you care so little about yourself? How I feel. Inside me. I wish I couldn't feel anything, Sammy. And you are not a child. I never was. I know you had a complicated upbringing, Dean. But don't confuse me with your dad. 